Okay, this time we're going to go ahead and create our CO2 cartridge. Many people ask me, Mr. Platt, why would you go ahead and create the CO2 cartridge now when you really don't need it? Well, actually we do need it. And what we need it for is to go ahead and use it for our aerodynamic studies when we run our fluid dynamics on the car, our CFD, Computation of Fluid Dynamics. We need that at that time so it will help us to actually know the characteristics of the air coming off the rear end of our CO2 dragster. So now I've gone ahead and set myself going up to the right plane. I'm going to go ahead and start a sketch. I'm going to come out here to uh, about right there. I'm just going to rough in a quick little sketch. I'll hit my escape key at this time. I'll go ahead and smart dimension this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to 65 millimeters in length. I'm going to take this distance here and I'm going to set it to, uh, let's go 5.4 millimeters. And at this time I'll set this guy to uh, 8.4 0.5 millimeters. Okay, so that's our first part of our sketch. Uh, I'll go ahead and accept that. I'll rebuild that and I'll come back to this momentarily. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit right mouse click and I'm going to edit the sketch I just created. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and do a center point arc and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select Oh, I'll come out here back to this point here, and I'll draw me an arc coming off here. Let's do it this way. There you go. I want to make sure that I come up where I'm basically, uh, let's make sure that we're kind of perpendicular off our point here. So we'll put that in there, as you see. And I'm going to set a radius on this of 9, uh, let's 9.5. Let's make that radius 9.5. Okay, so there's our line in there. And now what I want to do is I'm going to come off this and make sure I'm coming in straight off this. I'm going to zoom up on that. And I'm going to draw me a line coming off here. And I'm just going to say, make a dimension of that of 31 millimeters. Okay. I'll hit my F command to zoom out so I can see that. And that looks pretty good for the moment here. We'll come back to that here in a second. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and re-enter the sketch again and edit it. And now at this time, I'm going to place a tangent arc, which is this right here. It's basically two points. I'm going to select this uh, end of this line here. I'm going to come out here and select the end of this line there. Now, so we've got this nice uh, arc coming in off the 31 millimeters. We need to create a fillet in that area. So we'll come up here and we'll select a fillet command. We'll set that to 2 on our radius and I can select directly on that intersection there and check that off. So now I have, as you can see here, this nice looking blended shape. Now what I want to do now is go ahead and create a, we'll accept that fillet sketch. I'm going to create a center line sketch, horizontal, infinite. I'm going to click on this part right here. And at this point, we'll go ahead and go to revolve base. And now it produces an, a preliminary view of what our revolve is going to look like for our CO2 cartridge. I'll go ahead and check that off as well. So now we have a nice looking view of what our CO2 cartridge is. Okay, we'll stop here for a moment. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, rebuild our file real quick and let's save our changes. And we're going to call this one CO2 cartridge. Alright, we'll go ahead and hit enter. And now that that's saved and we have it to so lose our work, I'm going to revolve this around using my center mouse button. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to select a chamfer command. And I'm going to grab this particular edge right here. And what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to put an angle of 2 and an angle of, let's see, 1 on the distance. And I'll go ahead and do a full preview of that and let's see what it looks like. Okay, that gives me kind of a preview of what this is going to look like. I'm not too happy with that. I'm going to key in 45 degrees on that as well. And I'm going to go ahead and key in a distance maybe of 2 instead. I'm going to a little dramatic. I'll go back to 1. Kind of liking that better. And we're going to accept that here as well. So there, it gives me a nice looking view of what my CO2 cartridge is going to look like. Pretty cool. Okay, we'll hold off that for a moment. We'll come back to the now at this time is we're going to have to do what's called a shell operation where we actually make this CO2 cartridge hollow. Otherwise it's a big lump of steel that's not going to do us any good. So I'm going to go ahead and set myself to wireframe. And now that I've set myself to wireframe, I'm going to come over here 
and I'm going to set my shell operation. That's this guy right there. So what I'll do is I'll set my shell operation to a uh, thickness of 1.25. Hit my tab key, and I'll go ahead and accept that, and it'll go out there and create a shell. So as you can see right here, it's gone in and created a shell operation of our particular CO2 carbon system. So now it's actually hollow, but the end of it's actually solid, so that way it can be punctured by the firing mechanism when you fire off your CO2 uh, dragster. Okay, now what we want to do is go back and set it to uh, solid with edges shaded. And I'm going to show you a new way to change material as opposed to right mouse clicking here. We'll come up here to edit, we'll go down here to appearance, and we'll go to material. When we do that, it comes up and it's got our steel. Well, this is actually a steel part, so we're going to go to AISI 304, we'll accept that, apply it, and close it. So now what I can do is come over here to my materials editor, and I can come over here and I can find a nice chrome looking one if I want to use that. Probably don't want to use that. It's kind of more of a zinc coating that goes around it that has a kind of a more of a satin finish. So I'm going to grab that and pull it up over here and accept that. So that's how my actual CO2 cartridge looks like. Well, for, for the most part, we're actually done with this guy, and now we're going to go ahead and start designing our CO2 dragster body, which is what most people go ahead and start doing with. But before we actually do that, we're going to create what's called a design library, which is this guy over here. So that way we can store all our parts, and we can rapidly create multiple dragsters using our parts library. So we'll come back to creating our design library here in a moment.